Video number two for Saturday. Hey, everybody. Quite a stimulating morning already. Um, uh, I really don't like to do Skype too much, but my uh, friend Maureen, uh, in Par who lives in Paris, got a hold of me this morning. Um, I went ahead and Skyped with her for a while. I, lo I love that woman. Um, she was in digital sex and um, just in a really quite a talented lady. Listening to Ben Neal, Mainspring. This came to mind because I was on Facebook and my first post of the day on Facebook was that I woke up this morning with the thought, man, I'd really like to meet David Bowie, so I write it. And then um, Ben, um, who is a Facebook friend, I haven't met him yet, he mentions that he met Bowie um, a few years ago when Bowie came to one of his shows. Wouldn't that be a feather in one's cap? Yeah, Bowie went to my, came to my show. And then uh, Fleming was asking me, uh, uh, Labrador, why, why? Why do you want to meet Bowie? Well, it's not that uh, concrete. I just feel a connection to Bowie. Um, I used to think I really want to meet Peter Gabriel, and that'd be fine. There's a lot of musicians I wouldn't mind meeting, not in an adulation way at all, but one where I think I can relate to them. But um, Bowie is another one who I, um, just on a real personal level, would like to talk to. Um, Haromi Hosono of Yellow Magic Orchestra and Ryuichi Sakamoto. Um, those are two more musicians I would really love to have a conversation with. Um, Yoko Ono comes to mind. And there are musicians that if I m met, it'd be nice to meet them, but I have no interest in meeting them. I'll spare the venom. So this is... Um, I guess you could call this maybe more along the lines of experimental, but this is cool and I like where it goes. It's it's doing this and it moves into a second phase. Um, yeah. It's different. Right quick on the record, um, I'll, I'll um, just talk about it for a second then I'll move on. Um, I uh, have got all the covers assembled. Here they are. I got all the covers assembled. Hopefully the records will be here. Um, <coughs> I didn't get a tracking number on Friday. They said possibly they would be done and, and ship them, but we'll, maybe it will be next week. But the response has been amazing. Yes, I have sold over 50 of the 100 already those are actual sales I have a few good friends who I uh, have agreed to hold for a short time because of economics notice I said friends okay because I could have the world and their mama write me right now could you hold one for me hold one for me and that shit would put me right out of business okay so feel me couple of uh, little things about it that I'm really pleased about. Um, really pleased that um, folks overseas uh, buy my record. Gerald over in Singapore, we were just talking on Facebook, Gerald shares with me that this is his first vinyl purchase, first record purchase of the year. Wow, I'm, I, that, I, that, it, it's, it's really meaningless, but it just has a lot of personal value to me. Just, that's cool. The first record someone bought, the year 2013, was mine. And that person lives all the way over, fuck over in Sh Singapore. That's awesome. In Charki, thank you. In Thailand, again, he bought another one of my records. You know, that means a lot to me. You know, it also, it also means a lot to me that the person buying the record in Thailand is not just a Westerner. Or at least, was, judging by your name, you're Thai or doesn't sound American to me. All that just means a lot to me. Uh, folks who have been letting me know they really like the music think it's some of my best work. Thank you, folks. It is a whole body of work that I have and that I do. I have more. Um, I, like I said, I've been going through archives. Um, I do want to do number two. Chris Oliver, I appreciate the feedback. More than likely what I'm going to do is 
the next record will be Sonic Spears 2, and the one after that will be the next music song oriented record with a mix of ambience. That's what it's looking like right now because I've just about got the next record um, figured out uh, track wise. Um, thinking ahead, uh, uh, just out of the blue, one of the things I'd like to do is get a couple things off uh, before summer. Last summer, um, I learned a lot, and we're going to have a repeat this summer, guys. I mean, I'm not a weather predictor, but we know that the climate changes, or rather the, the uh, whatever you want to say, but it's going to be a hot summer. You know it, guys. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's happening in Australia right now. That shit's going to hit us for summer. <clears throat> if at all possible, I'd like to get a couple. I'd like to get this and one more out before the summer, and and then um, schedule um, something for the fall if possible. Mm. So I have been working on this, and I really haven't had much time to be playing records. Um, in all honesty, though, I'm going to switch this because uh, I want to shout out to my friend Zicky Blossoms. Um, I really, really, really like this album. Not just because I helped to, to make it, either. Matter of fact, this one of my favorite songs in here, I, I didn't write. It's it's all Nick. I'm going to put it on the background. Temporary Freakout. I love this. I love this. This is something I played probably, probably five or six times in a row yesterday. This is some good stuff. Oh, I gotta turn it up. You know, I know they're they're uh, <coughs> they're getting work on their next, getting started on their next record here pretty soon, and uh, I'm really excited for them. And uh, very frankly, hope to be involved again. Very, I'll say it out loud. I hope to be a part of this next record, definitely. Okay, let's switch tracks. Um, I think I need to play this. It's been a long time. I know my music, people. I know what I like, and I know why I like it. Uh, yeah. Huh, what? Play this shit? Are you kidding? You 
may seem a little braggy, but it is. If I had access to an, a studio and the time, I could reproduce this. Every part I, could, I can play. I can. The hardest part for me would be the keys. Yeah, I can, I can funk that shit on the drums. That shit in the hell can. I'm feeling good. I got coffee in me. I'm feeling blessed. I wake up and I check my uh, my uh, PayPal and I'm over 50 sales on the record. God. <coughs> wow. The thing I keep forgetting to say though is that I am out of Blake sleeves. So I'm going to have to send some of these out in just old style plastic sleeves. Um, by the time I order some Blake sleeves, um, they'll be out. So folks, that was one thing I've been forgetting to say is I'm out of Blake sleeves. Okay, the meters are sounding good. I want to keep this short. Ah, have a great weekend, folks. Um, have a great weekend, people.